So on this one, we got a Worcester Bosch 4000 combi boiler with a Honeywell Home programmable room stat wired. And we're going to swap it for a Neomitis wireless so that we can move the location of the room stat. First thing we do is undo the two screws, whip the front case off. Put that in a safe place, pop the front down. There's a hidden screw there and then two finger tabs. Just undo those to get to the wiring. So you've got live neutral earth coming in. And then you've got grey going out to the programmer and then black coming back for your heating to wire it. So that's how it is here. So somewhere along the line it changes from grey to brown. And then your black is your switch live back. And that's where it changes. And the switch fuse spur. So we use this handy gadget, which will show us that the cables make a complete loop. So you know the cables we're operating with. Here's an example. So it flashes when it, it gets continuity. So it's ideal when you can't see the full cable run. So rewired all that. Made it look a bit nicer. Then we start with this. Some of those terminals can be quite tricky but here you got live neutral earth and then you got gray going to three which is your power from your boiler to the receiver and then black is when it makes a switch goes back to fire the boiler and that goes back on four so a bit of five core is ideal then you can pre-wire the boiler in the blocks outside and then plug them all in and then i always check it first so you got 240 on permanent live and then you should have 240 on your live coming from your boiler and then nothing going back yet because the front face plate isn't on. And this is the back of the face plate so it tells you you got three live coming in and then four would be a live going back to your boiler. So we'll just put that up on the return to the boiler. We turn it up to create a demand. Set it at 30, flame symbol goes. Receiver clicks in, makes a switch, 240 back at the boiler, and it fires. Happy days. Because you've got cables and walls and underfloors, I've terminated it in a 10-way box. It's a bit overkill, but at least I know it'll always be safe if somebody lives it up. And that's that job all done.